Hi, my name is Bonnie, and I work in the, uh, at the Providence Public Library in the Children's Department. And today I'm going to read you some of my favorite stories. And the first one is Lola Gets a Cat. We may have read some Lola stories before. There are about five of them, and all of them are great. So Lola Gets a Cat by Anna McQuinn which is published by Charles Bridge Publishing Company. Lola loves cats. She wants a real one. Mommy says looking after a cat is a lot of work. Lola decides to find out more. Whoop, I think she went to the library. She learns that cats are super at smelling and hearing. Lola reads all about how to care for cats. She pretends that Dinah <clears throat> is a real cat and practices looking after her. At last, Mommy agrees, Lola can get a cat. Mommy and Lola find out how to adopt one. At the cat shelter, they meet Jeremy, and he shows them three perfect cats. Before Lola can decide, one little cat chooses her. Jeremy says that moving is scary for cats. He gives Lola a, things, a list of things that will help. Lola will be back as soon as everything at home is ready. All the next day, Lola and Mommy shop. What a lot of stuff for a little cat. Lola and Daddy make a special corner where her cat will settle in. Finally, Lola is ready to bring her cat home. At first, the cat is afraid, but her own blanket makes her feel safe, and Lola says not to worry. At home, the little cat stays in her carrier, but after a while, she comes out and sniffs around. Lola watches. She knows her cat isn't ready to play yet. Lola decides to call her cat Nikita. It's the name of an African queen. Lola takes excellent care of Makita. She feeds her and gives her fresh water. One day, Lola's friend Ty brings a special present for Makita. Ty and Lola play with Makita all afternoon. At last, Makita feels right at home. Her favorite thing is to snuggle Lola. Every evening, Lola reads to Makita. Tonight's story is about a famous cat. Lola loves her new little cat, and reading with Makita is best of all. The end.